you gotta get in there. Good morning guys, this is Richard back at you. This morning uh, what we're working on is a uh, 2006 Dodge uh, 5.9 diesel, uh, 3500 dually four wheel drive. Uh, we did this like, we don't even know how long ago. Uh, those signs of different sealants that we used to use 20 years ago, so we could have done this unit 20 years ago. But anyway, it come in uh, leaking really bad. We noticed that the overdrive housing was cracked. Uh, we, it had a bunch of pan bolts uh, that were stripped. We had to heal coil and we had to straighten a bunch of stuff up. But what we got here is this housing right here. It's kind of hard to see the crack, but it physically goes across through here, down through here, and comes up all the way down through here. This crack does. So when I come in this morning, uh, it had a big old foot to a foot and a half puddle underneath it on the floor. So we got the pan already done, got a new shifter seal, valve body seal, and all that type of stuff in it. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to recase this into a new case we have right here. Now this uh, new, uh, I'm not sure, is this a GM case, Teresa? AC Delco? I think it is. But anyway, when you get these... Uh, these holes right here, there no, there's no uh, threads in them at all. You have to, uh, these uh, bolts right here, they kind of, I guess even from the dealer, uh, these are like self-tapping. They got to tap the thread. So what I do is, when I put these back together, uh, before I even do assemble the unit, I get these uh, holes straightened out right here. I'll put some oil on these threads, and then I'll re-tap the threads with my screw and then we'll take the case, put it in the washer, clean the threads out, that way we're ready to go and we assemble the unit. So, real easy to strip this right in here, twist your torques off. So, get this apart. Now we have a little wire ring right here, snap ring, it just holds the overdrive clutches in. Overdrive clutches got a little bit of wear on them. We can actually upgrade these since we got it apart to some high energy ones. Okay, we've done this unit easy probably 20 years ago. Yeah, screwdriver, get those other snap rings out. Now we're going to have a wavy snap ring come out first, and then the flat one comes out second. And then we're going to get in here, we're going to open this snap ring up right here, and we're going to pull this overdrive section out, hopefully. Like that. You want to check this bearing for any wear, any noises. So we're going to clean all this stuff up here. Now there is a snap ring down in here I'm going to pull out. You want to check this snap ring for any type of wear because it wears two different ways. On the bearing it wears on the inside, on the case it'll wear on the outside. So we definitely need to put a snap ring in this. And uh, also the snap ring groove in the case wears really bad. You can see it wearing right here. You can see that right there Teresa? Mm -hmm. Right there. Smooth on this side and you can see the rut there where it's wore out. Now they do make a case saver we could put in this and repair that, but uh, since that's cracked, we're not gonna mess with it. We're just gonna put a whole new unit in there. But this is what I wanted to show you too. The parking pin, oh, didn't I bring a long extension in here? Oh, excuse me, I thought I did. Sorry about that, I didn't bring a long extension in here and I need one, or did I leave it on my car? There it is, I knew I brought it. But anyway, if you look down in here, you can see this little plug right here. That holds the pin that holds your parking pole and assembly in. Now when you pull that out, um, there's a spring down in there and then the lever that's going to come out. 
And I get me some snap ring pliers. I can usually get down there and grab it. Pull it out of there. Did you see that spring come out? And then there's the pin. And then here's the uh, lever right here. Now, they make two different size pins and holes in the case depending on if you have a, a gas or a diesel. The diesel has the large pin, the gas has the small pin. I had, a, I had one actually come in here one day. Uh, they used a small pin in a big case and it had it all messed up. So you definitely want to check your pin size, but if, if it's a diesel, it's got to be a large pin. Even the angle of this right here is totally different uh, from a diesel to a gas. Okay, uh, when you got a big trailer on the back of your truck sitting on a hill and you want to try to pull it out of park, if you put a gasoline housing on a diesel, which they'll go, you will not get that thing out of park. You'll have to get under there with a hammer and hit that uh, lever to uh, knock it out of park because we know, Teresa, don't we? We we actually did that back in the day. So, but it is kind of hard. You set it down in there. This sets in there. I mean, it's kind of hard to get it back down in there because of this hooks on the case uh, but I mean you just got to play with it and then there's another piece down in here can you see that piece down in there mm -hmm. that's the what I call I guess kind of a slide for your your linkage what I do is I grab it with a pair of needle nose pliers and I can pull the, the, keep, the keeper out and then this piece here it only goes one, one way too I'll show you this piece here has a pin on it that sets down in the case and then this sets it down in there and locks it in just like that and holds it down in there okay just like that so but this does have to go in first and then this piece okay uh, take your sensor out here clean all that stuff up I say the case is pretty much junk. We'll throw this away. We're not going to attempt to weld it or anything like that. And then we'll get the, like I say, we'll get my gloves on, different pair of gloves. We'll get these screws ready to retap the threads in the case there. Pull the screws out, clean the case up, and then we'll start assembling it back. So guys, just a short little video uh, on an overdrive section on a Dodge Diesel. Pretty simple, huh, Teresa? Hey guys, have a great day.